Hello guys, so I got a request from you to explain some of the medical TikTok videos that I've made. So in this video, I'm going to explain them, so stay tuned. 28 jewels. I'm shocking the patient. Great. You just killed me. I did. You forgot to yell clear before shocking. Now the reason why you say clear before using a defibrillator is that now we know the human body is able to conduct electricity so it means that if I'm being electrocuted and you touch me you also get electrocuted so there is a flow of current through the body now in the video that we saw she shocked the patient without saying clear and there was one lady touching her so meaning that the current is going to pass from the person lying down to the person standing up the machine uses electricity, so that is why you say clear when you're using it to tell everybody to back up before you shock. So here we're going to do a little history. Now smallpox, which most of you have not heard before, was a disease a viral infection that used to infect people in the past there was this disease called the smallpox that was killing a lot of people so according to the world health organization it killed up to 300 million people they were totally wiped away from the surface of the earth now in 1980 the world health organization declared the disease eradicated from the face of the earth now how did they eradicate it with the use of a vaccine now smallpox didn't have a cure but they used Vaccines. So because of the vaccines, we are able to eradicate it from the surface of the earth. Even though naturally occurring smallpox has been eradicated from the surface of the earth. Now, there is a lab in Russia and there is a lab in Atlanta, Georgia, where some samples of the virus are being kept for research purposes. But they are under the authorization of the World Health Organization. We have to avoid blowing air when wearing a glove. Now, this is because the mouth is full of millions and lots of bacteria. So, when you blow air before wearing a glove, some of these bacteria will move to the part of the glove, which is the outer part, which is supposed to be sterile. And let's say you are going to use that glove to treat a wound, the wound becomes infected. So, that is why it's highly unrecommended that you blow air before wearing a glove. Now, most gloves come with powder in it, which makes wearing it very easy. Something bothering you? There's still tightness in your chest, it's expected. Is it your eye? So, locked in syndrome is a condition where there is total paralysis of voluntary muscles. And by voluntary muscles, I mean walking, eating, dancing. Now, in this case, the only part of the body that is working is the involuntary muscles, which consists of your heart beating, you blinking, you breathing. So, now I must add that it's a very rare condition. Now, even though most of these people are unable to communicate, there is a special way they are able to communicate with the people around them. Now, with the blinking of the eye, they are able Teresa, to... Teresa, if you can hear me, please move your eyes up and down again. Okay, now, as you saw in the video, uh, with the blinking of the eye, the person is able to answer yes or no questions. You may never hear of it until you die. Conclusion, in this video, I explained just four things. The first one was why you say clear before using a defibrillator. A defibrillator. Number two was the smallpox disease. Number three was locked in syndrome. And number four was why you should not blow air before wearing a blouse. Let me know in the comment section if you knew any of them or you are hearing it for the first time. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you next time.